What's the best DPI to print your photos at? I've been printing for master photographers for over 20 years and I've heard a lot of different answers on this. And it seems to be a place people really get confused a lot. And the technology is changing. So what was the correct answer in the past may not be the correct answer for today. So I decided to do some tests. I make my prints on a Canon Pro 4000 printer. So to answer that question for my specific printer, I decided to make some 8x10 test prints. For my test, I picked a file that's about 150 megapixels of resolution so that I could print at some extremely high resolutions. And from that file, I started making 8x10 test prints. First, I have an RA4 print as a reference point. And then I made prints on the Canon at 150 DPI, 200, 240, 300, 400, 500, 600, 750, 900, and then finally 959.556 DPI, which was as big as I could print that file. And a surprising thing happened. Every time I gave the printer more resolution, the print looked sharper and had more detail. At 300 DPI, the print was more detailed than the Chromira print, which has been a common print in fine art photography. And from 300 DPI, it just got better the more resolution I added. It's kind of hard to show this in the video because the resolution of the prints is so far beyond what a screen can display, but in person, the difference is very noticeable. I was shocked at how sharp the high DPI test prints were. They're sharper than any 8x10 digital prints I've seen and look more like what you'd see from a large format print from someone like Ansel Adams. When I look at the print, all these fine details are looking really good. And even these tiny aspen leaves that are about a millimeter or two on the print have sharp edges, and you can see some of the veins and the leaves. And at the higher DPI, the more 3D all these small branches feel. And the RA4 print just looks dead and dimensionless in comparison to it. This quality gain from using high DPI files is pretty incredible. So let's talk about how to put it into use in your workflow. If you're printing on one of the Canon Pro Series printers, like the Pro 1000 or the Pro 4000, you need to change your workflow. Instead of sizing your file to some standard DPI like 300 and then printing it, what you need to do is stop resizing the file and just give the printer all the resolution you have. Depending on the size print you're making, that may mean you're giving it 450 DPI or it may mean you're giving it 150 DPI. The DPI really doesn't matter as long as you're giving the printer all the real resolution that's in the file. Not interpolated resolution, but real resolution. If you're doing that, that's going to make the sharpest prints possible because the Canon printer knows what to do with all that information. It also makes your workflow easier because instead of that uncertainty of what DPI is the best to print at, you know you're printing at the best DPI because you're just giving it all the information you have. So that removes uncertainty and doubt. And it gives you the sharpest prints you can get. So there's that. Now do me a favor and hit that like button and subscribe to the Make Better Prints channel if you want to get more videos like this. And there's more information and articles on my website, makebetterprints.com. I'm Rich Sealing, and I hope you join me next time to learn how to make better prints.